Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress site in a subdirectory of an existing WordPress site. The way we do this is we basically just do the exact same install process as we normally would. We just do it in a different directory. So I'm on my demo site here and I want to install a site at the location of forward slash members. Currently it's a 404 because there's nothing there. And I want this to be a site where only my members can access. You might be doing it for other reasons, but whatever the reason is, it's going to work the same way. So we're going to pop over into our uh, cPanel account for this site. We're going to create a new database, upload the WordPress files, connect those WordPress files via the WP config to the database, and boom, we're going to have a new site in the subdirectory. It's going to be awesome. Let's get started. So over in the cPanel, I'm going to click on MySQL databases, and I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to call it members with a bunch of random stuff at the end. I'm going to make a note of these credentials. I'm going to paste them over here. Uh, DB name is this. And I'm going to get the DB username and the password. Okay, click on go back so we can create the username. And I like to make it so the username and the database name at least start with the same things. So the, the database started with members. I'm going to start the username with mem because you're not allowed to have as many characters for the username. You can generate a password. One that looks very funky. I like the funky looking ones. There is one. That's nice. Okay, we're going to use that password. So this one's already too long. Oh, I changed it back to my original with a default. Um, so mem. Some characters. It's great. Put our password in here and click on create user. Now we have our password that I already copied. And I'm going to make a note of this user account, all these pop ups everywhere. All right, so now we have our database name, our username, and our password. There's one last thing left to do we have to connect the database or connect the user to the database. And the reason we do this is to avoid the error establishing database connection error, which is commonly caused by not connecting these two. I'm just going to choose all privileges, then click on make changes at the bottom. And now they are connected. Now, if we go uh, take a look here, we have our new members database and we have the mem user associated with it. So that one's ready to rock and roll. And we're going to take these credentials and we're going to go back into our file manager and we are going to go into the root and click on new folder and we're going to call it members. Now the name you put here is what's going to be at the forward slash of this of this site. So I said I wanted to do it at uh, wp-pht.com forward slash members. This members here is determined by what I enter as the folder name. So if you want this to be uh, radio, you got to type in the word radio. And if you put dashes in here and make a long complicated thing, and this is what the subdomain or subdirectory will look like for this website. So be careful which name you choose here. I'm going to keep mine at members. Click on create new folder. There's our new folder. We open that. There's nothing there yet. I'm just going to hop over to wordpress.org. I'm going to download the latest version of WordPress. WordPress 4.7.2 and then head back into here. Click on upload. And I'm going to just drag and drop these files, the WordPress files. There we go. They start uploading immediately. Once the upload is 100%, which it is now, you can just close this panel or this tab. Click on reload over here. Now we have our WordPress files. Click on extract to extract the zip. We want to keep it in the members directory. Click on extract files. Goes pretty quick. Not many files to go around. Click on reload again. Now I have a WordPress folder. Now if we keep it in the WordPress folder, what's going to happen is this site will be at wp-phd.com forward slash members forward slash WordPress. That's not where we want it. So we want to open this WordPress file select all the contents by clicking the first one, holding on shift, clicking the last one, then click on the move button. Change this path 
to delete WordPress, so it just goes into the members folder or whatever your folder name is in your case. Click on up one level. Now all the files are in the members folder, which is where you want them. This WordPress folder and this WordPress zip, we can select those two and delete them. Don't need them crowding our server. Now we have our WordPress files here and we want to update our WP config file. Click on it, then click on code editor. Click on edit to open it. And then we just want to copy over our database credentials. We have our database name here. Put that right in there. And then the database username. Put that right there. The password. Put that right there. Then click on save changes. We can click on the close button or X out of that. We want to change this file name to be just wp-config, remove the sample. And now we should be done. If everything went well, we are done. So if we go to this page, which was a 404 a few minutes ago, if we refresh this page, it should now say install WordPress. Fingers crossed. And there it is, WordPress installation comes up. We can go through the installation process. Site title is gonna call my members. You call yours what you gotta call yours. And create the user. That's not right. Create the user. Gives you a password. You can change this password if you want. Have my email. You can discourage search engines if you want to. And then when you're ready, click on install WordPress. And there you have it. Now you have a new WordPress installation in the subdirectory of members. So if we go to our main site, that's great. We've got a main site like we did before. We go to forward slash members and we have it all installed 2017. And this is another WordPress site right inside the same file structure as our existing one, which is pretty cool. So in this video, we installed the WordPress site in the subdirectory of an existing WordPress site. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com for more WordPress tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.